All right, we're, we're not going to go to the normal news stuff because I don't want everybody to think this is like a full-on uh, news stream, all right? This is a this is like a half news stream. So today, we're going to talk about what the f*** is going on with Twitch. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Do me a favor. Everybody say, hi, YouTube. Today, we're going to talk about Twitch's very strange new policy updates, everybody. And recently, they actually came up with a statement and then immediately backtracked on that statement. Now, this statement is very important because this applies a lot to VTubers. And of course, VTubers are quite upset with this particular change. This whole uh, debacle starts back on June 6th, chat. Now, this is the CEO of Twitch. So a uh, very good person to uh, reach out to via Twitch-specific questions, right? So they say, can you please send, light, uh, send some light on something that I have a question about? I and some other VR chat streamers were hit with a one-day suspension in the last 24 hours. The reason given inappropriate attire was given. If this is true, is to reverse their statement regarding VR chat. So here we go. So here is the original ruling about VR chat. So how do the new rules about AR avatars impact my content if I stream a virtual reality sandbox game like VR chat? So it says our policy and augmented reality avatars applies to content where cameras and software are used to capture a person's physical likeness and translate into a digital overlay. Kind of sounds like a VTuber, right? But a VR chat is categorized as a game on Twitch and in-game virtual reality models are not subject to our policy on nudity and attire. Now, this is a very old ruling that they had quite a while ago. This was a big question, right? Because I know that a lot of creators that I know have been hit with these one-day bans even past that, right? So let's take a look here at how Twitch actually responded to this. Twitch support says, hey, Lynx, when the press is sending communication to VTubers and specifically VR chat streamers, but for the purpose of responding to this question directly, yes. This old blog from 2020 is no longer correct. We recognize this may not have been completely clear given the prior blog. You highlight and apologize for this. We will update this. These streamers' warnings, including yours, have now been removed. The chat streamers will now need to follow the same entire guidelines as normal streamers. So obviously with the VR chat community, you know, this sat about as well as, you know, uh, having to, uh, you stand across coals, right? Like, yeah, this did absolutely horrible. Everybody was so upset. It's definitely been a consideration with VR chat streamers that they did not quite have to follow the full VTuber attire. Instead, they had kind of their own ruling, right? So this pissed off a lot of people in the VR chat community. And kind of rightfully so, you know, they weren't very clear about it. However, they did do the right thing and remove a lot of these strikes and warnings. So that is appreciated. Before we continue, what is the only thing that could happen here? Twitch making it worse. Not only have they done this to the VR chat streamers, but now they're actually gonna back the f up on it and piss off everybody. So chat, let's go look at a Twitch support communication that came out last night. So here we go. Uh, they actually are quote retweeting this original thing here. And they say, we have made a change for enforcement guidelines recently regarding the application of our entire policy to VR chat streams. We received a lot of feedback from the VR chat community about the confusion this has caused, especially since it was not accompanied by a change to our published policy guidelines. Effective today, we are rolling back the change to the enforcement guidelines. Any strikes through this change will be uh, deprecated. That said, as stated in our policy, our entire guidelines, uh, our policy guidelines still apply to VTubers, but it does not apply to characters in games such as VR chat. What? So not only chat did they back up on their original statement, but now they have actually drawn a line in the sand between VR chat creators and VTubers. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Which is saying that VR chat VTubers are not actually regular VTubers. So does that exempt 3D creators from following the attire rules? If I stream under VR chat or I'm in VR chat, do I get to circumvent the rules? Is that how that works? Hmm. I'm so confused. Like, this doesn't make sense. It's just contradicting itself. Could I make a new category called VTube Studio and not get in trouble because it's part of a game? Because remember, chat, VTube Studio is the main program that most of us use. Or even Wadido, like I'm using Wadido right now. I could literally just be like, oh, it's a game. Uh, it falls under the game restrictions. This just brings up more questions than answers, chat. It's it, it's absolutely fucking nuts. So, so guys, we're going to go look at some of the stuff in here. I mean, I do actually want to go pull up Lana's 
uh, stuff here because unfortunately Lana actually had um, quite a big issue that she just uh, talked about uh, this morning. Let's take a look. Alana says that she got confirmation uh, from her Twitch rep that she'll be getting a 24-hour ban this week due to inappropriate attire. I was lucky enough to be told ahead of time, but VTuber Mutual sets up as most likely a lot of you will be hit with bans this week as well. So apparently she goes on to say, not enough cover uh, in the public area to be clear, so anybody with high-waist outfits or little panties, let's see if she answered this. But they're in VR chat to be fine. 2D and 3D models that aren't in VR chat are fine. 3D models that are in VR chat are fine. So let's go look on what happened with Lana here because I do want to see what she streamed with exactly. 12 seconds later. Let me ask you a question. What is the difference between this being in VR chat and this being in Wadded Up? There is no difference. It's literally just picking a different application to run your 3D program. Alana actually came out uh, and said that her Twitch rep told her that she was getting a ban for not enough cover in the pelvic area. So that's why we were looking. But this makes no f***ing sense, chat. Like, I can load my model right now that I have in VR chat and apparently get away with it, but... According to them, if I stream it with Waterdome or any other 3D, let's say VC face, it's not a thing. What type of backwards thinking is that? That makes no sense. Now look, this is a huge win for VR chat creators, right? VR chat creators are eating good. Uh, because they are going to be able to, of course, be able to kind of express themselves without so much restriction anymore, which is great. But my question is, why does that not apply to all VTubers? If you're going to say 3D VR chat VTubers, you might as well just say 3D VTubers and you might as well say VTubers all together, right? Why are we penalizing regular VTubers versus VR chat VTubers, right? So, so here's my question, chat. Why would I be penalized uh, choosing what I want to stream, right? For instance, for instance, if I loaded up my live 2D model right now, my live 2D model is the exact same as this model. But could I get banned differently for it? Makes no sense. So guys, let's go look at a lot of the responses and how the VTubers are, of course, reacting to this. So uh, Spike brings up a good point here. Does this apply to VTubers who are streaming in VR chat? Like, what does this mean? Can I stream as a regular VTuber? Like, let's say I want to load up my live 2D model. Can I load up my live 2D model and just stream under VR chat? Would that be okay? Yeah, there's so many questions, right? Like, uh, there's so many ways to circumvent a lot of these rules. So 3D VTuber models have different rules to VR chat avatars. When a 3D model could be imported to VR chat, what? I agree with this. This is a really good point. So Lele goes on to say, if I under me showing you my 3D VTuber model, in my uh, VTuber software, it's a bam. If I port the exact same model to VR chat, Chat. No, man. What is even the difference here? This just raises way more questions. Very much agree with that. They're literally just saying that by streaming under a certain game, you're protected. And, and that, that to me is so crazy. I do understand from Twitch's viewpoint, right? Everybody kind of needs to fall in line with a certain look and a guideline because obviously we do want to protect uh, underage viewers, right? Twitch did step up their game a little bit with the blurring of certain uh, thumbnails and things like that. Uh, VR chat does have a new to loot culture. It does. So there's good points and there's bad points to every argument on each side. Uh, somebody's saying, can we please have more information on why VTubers are different? Because honestly, a lot more can happen with VR chat models than VTuber ones. That's very true. Uh, myself and many others in the VTuber community could be this and honestly feel like we're being pushed into a corner. Uh, VTubing is truly uh, evolved content creation of people engage with viewers. Right now, it just seems like we're being punished while you're allowing others to promote much more lewd content. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily agree with this at all. This makes zero sense. VR avatars and VR tuber models are both. Virtual streamers and VTubers should be held to a policy attire. If VR chat streamers aren't, it's unfair not to apply to same policies to both virtual streamers when we both use virtual avatars i agree with that because if you're defining a uh vr chat avatar as a virtual avatar well that's a regular vtuber right Here, here's the fix chat and, and i want to hear your thoughts on what you think would be the fix but here's my fix right if you are piloting a virtual avatar vr chat 3d png gif live 2d you fall under this one category and under this one category this is our rules and you need to be very clear about what those rules are i feel like vr chat creators are are really pissed off and they don't want to have to deal with it so they're just backtracking it's not hard to say all creators of this type of virtual avatar whether it's whatever like you're piloting a virtual avatar or a gif or a png you gotta fall under this uh and then that's it few moments later i mean all really good points here um from a lot of creators here obviously just upset by it 
Abysmal 100% is not, not something that they can just look away from. Because here's the issue, chat. You know right now, as I explained to you, in a thousand ways to get around this, you know select people are going to attempt to do this. You know it. So Twitch cannot ignore the fact that they just drew this line. Again, read this, read this. Our entire policy guidelines still apply to VTubers, but it does not apply to characters in game, such as VR chat. I do not read this as that characters in game and the background are different than the characters in game that you're piloting. Makes no sense. I, I would really love just clarification on this. So how does Twitch fix this? They need to define what a VTuber is, and they need to define the rules with a VTuber on every single category, regardless of the game. They need to say VTubers are this, that use these programs, or even these programs with this representation. Like, they just need to tell us what it is exactly. Once they do that, then they can do whatever they want, right? Not that we have to agree or disagree with their decisions of entire policy, right? But at least we have clarification. Let's go look at Waterdome. Wait, Waterdome follows me? Are you sure about that? Win W chat. <laughs> we love that. The developers of Wilder here. Wilder is a 3D VTubing app. Use my media VTubers on Twitch. We appreciate your effort to do better accommodating VR chat players. But your policy doesn't make sense. Let us explain. Many VTubers use VR chat as a VTubing platform, utilizing full body VR tracking to interact with viewers while immersed in VR chat virtual worlds. That's a good point. Guys, you can do full body tracking in Wadado. However, VR chat is not the only way to do this. VTubers who don't have access to it or don't like it. VR uses alternate apps such as VMC, Vinyan, or Wadado. Really good points. Really good points. Um, some develop their own 3D VTubing software in Unity or Unreal Engine. I think if I remember correctly, chat, if I remember correctly, and, and somebody can prove me wrong on this, I believe Pumpkin Potion actually uses Unity for her world in 3D. I know that she uses something that's not VR chat. So problem number one, your policies unfair. Why is using VR chat exempt from the entire policy when streamers using similar apps are effectively streaming the same type of content? This is exactly what I said earlier. And let's say that, that something happens with a pumpkin and she breaks policy. Is she exempt? Problem number two, your policy is unenforceable. Th Thank you! Using same avatar, same background. And without other VR uh, players present, VR chat is literally indistinguishable from other VTuber apps. Thank you! You're all pushing all 3D VTubers to just use the VR chat tag, regardless of what they use to stream. VTuber community is more than is more than happy to answer any questions you might have in collaborating on fair policy. But this is the best take I've seen. But it is right. There's no difference in uh, programs you could use. We could be I could be using fucking VC face for all you know. Yeah, I could use whatever whatever application I want to use, and nobody would have be able to tell. It's indistinguishable. Wait, wait a second. There's no way that they think that people that stream in VR chat are not VTubers, right? Please, please tell me they don't think that. Let, let's talk about what Twitch can do. Here's the thing, chat. So Twitch can actually do whatever the f they want because it's their platform, right? We are choosing to use their platform, so we have to play by their rules, right? If there's nothing that's added to us violating program, then it, it wouldn't matter, right? But they're not telling you to use a certain program, right? E even though this rule makes no sense, right? They're just really shittily making new rules. Do we like these changes? No. Can we complain about the changes? Yes. Absolutely, and that's what we're here to do today. I, I very much agree with Wadido. Wadido has had the best take on this, I think, of all. And and I'm and I know that I'm a biased because I have the exact same opinion. But here's my worry, and unfortunately, this is actually probably what is going to happen. And, and I'm very sad to say this out loud, but we all need to be realistic. I'm pretty sure this is exactly what's going to happen. So VTubers are going to get upset, rightfully so. There's a lot of double standard, and Twitch is going to backtrack on this. I can already see it. Again, they just need to define what is a VTuber. For but for them to say that it applies to VTubers, but not to characters and games to the VR chat, even more so, it disillusions the difference between 3D creators and VR chat creators. Does everybody remember when we had the uh, whole artistic nudity debacle? Like everything, right? Like human nature, we took it too far. We had f***ing Marina live streaming with her, uh, her live 2D titties out. We had people drawing, uh, you know, H anime. Me. We took it too far. And unfortunately, unless Twitch rolls this back immediately or does something or comes up with a follow up, we're gonna have a repeat. Somebody is gonna push this to the extreme. It isn't something to laugh about, Chuckles. They're gonna get banned for it and they're gonna make a huge, like, hoopla about it. And by technicality, the entire policy guideline does not apply to characters and games to the VR chat. So I can't get upset with them because technically they've read that way.
Let's go over to the VR chat category really quick. And let's just see what's going the fuck on over here. Hey, it's Glob. We love Glob. You know, some of these people may not even need this, right? Because technically, they don't need to worry about that policy anymore. I, I, this may not be as bad as it seems. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. This is a good example, right? Somebody used playing VR chat, but their live 2D model is present on the screen. How do you enforce any rules around that? What is the policy in regards to this? Because lots of people do this, like, it's a way to show their model. It, their viewpoint is through the VR chat, but their model's on screen. Let's say that she broke to us, which she's not. I know I'm using a channel VIP as just an example here, but there's no explanation. You cannot explain it. I've done that where I put my live 2D model on screen, and I have my viewpoint of just VR chat. I did it for my cooking stream. The fix here is, again, sit down with Twitch staff, explain what a virtual avatar is, all the ways that you can do that, all the means, all the, all the methods of representing yourself that way, and then just make one guideline for everybody. If you're really gonna let VR chat people get all crazy? That is fine. More power to them because this is a win. More expression is a good thing, right? But at least let everybody do it. Like, be fair. So chat, before we uh, wrap this up today, I don't want any VR chat creator right now to think that I do not like this policy change because the thing is, is for all of my friends that are VR chat creators, especially like Mila, like Mila and I have been friends for a long time. It's been hard for me to watch her suffer and have to completely adjust her content, right? Because Twitch went after her. So I feel, I'm very happy because she won today. But we do need to point out the double standards, right? So please don't take this as I'm attacking any 3D VTubers or VR chat VTubers. I really do feel like this is a great win for them. But can we get this win applied to all VTubers, please? I feel like that's the fair thing to do. Hopefully, um, I will keep you up to date, chat. You know, what all is gonna go on with that.